Now, some people are concerned that they do eat too much sugar and they've opted to use artificial sweeteners instead. But are artificial sweeteners a safe alternative? To find out, I'm going to make my own with chemicals in the lab. This is quite good fun, actually. OK, so cyclamic acid, hydrochloric acid, barium chloride, all in solution. And, they, you know, they sound quite ominous as chemicals, but like all good chemical reactions, if you combine them in the right proportions, you get some interesting products. The last ingredient, though, is this stuff sodium nitrite. Watch what happens when I combine the sodium nitrite with the rest of the chemicals. Here we go. And there you have it. The precipitated salt of cyclamic acid or sodium cyclamate, which is an artificial sweetener. Because of the risk of contamination, I can't taste my sweetener. So time for more technical kit to see if it's the real thing. OK, now for the interesting bit. The sample's been analysed, and if I've got the chemistry right, there should be a peak appearing on this graph round about here, indicating sodium cyclamate. So let's check it out. Bingo, there it is. I've made sodium cyclamate. Most of the sweeteners in our drink, in our food, are made in the lab in a similar way. The most popular sweetener, aspartame, is made by synthesizing two naturally occurring amino acids, joining them together to produce an entirely man-made substance. People are suspicious of artificial sweeteners because they're made in a lab. But are they doing us any harm? I asked an expert toxicologist if we should worry. Well, the truth is they've been extensively tested, both in animals and in humans, and there's really no evidence that they cause any harm at the levels that we're exposed to at all. Why would people think it's a good idea for a major food-producing company to poison their consumers? That's not good business. Well. Some people would argue the immediacy of a quick buck, you know, without doing the proper tests. But, you know, I think that's part of the reason, isn't it? I mean, if you're saying categorically there's nothing to worry about, why do people still worry? If I say aspartame to most people, they go, oh, yeah, it causes cancer really bad for you. Aspartame has been through more studies than almost any other additive in our diet. We have no evidence that no matter how much of these sweeteners you consume, you would ever get cancer. That's categorical. That's categorical. Okay. That no well-conducted study on the sweeteners we're using today cause cancer. So the evidence suggests artificial sweeteners don't do any harm, at least not at the levels people consume them.